you know, most people just look at you and they think, oh, poor Karen, she's in the wheelchair, the legs don't work, but that's an inconvenience, but there are kind of more um, bodily functions that are more of an inconvenience. So, I mean, traveling, I can't travel for more than a couple of days without bringing a chair with me, which is a bit of a nuisance, you know, for toileting. So that has, it can't be really spontaneous. You have to take every factor into consideration. So my accident was four years, four years in July. Uh, I was paralyzed from the neck down. I had to learn how to walk. And it took, took almost, say, two years really for me to sort myself out. But I was left with uh, chronic pain. And it's like a hidden disability. You know, like I'm in pain 24, seven life, so. Uh, After I, I, I left hospital from the, the spinal cord injury, I, I moved back to my mam's, and then I had a fall um, from the wheelchair which I uh, sustained uh, quite deep grazes on my hip. I, I didn't realize, you know, that how important it was to get them seen to. I, I just assumed they would heal like normal, but basically they became septic uh, and I, had, I ended up having 13 operations on my hip and it left me with quite severe wounds. And because of that, um, I'm living in a nursing home now. I got me, like my elbows got swollen before I got full of fluid from me banging my elbows off the table because I have no feeling in my elbows, you see. And I went to the hospital and they told me that they don't deal with that kind of thing. And I was kind of looking at it saying, what do you mean, like, what, you don't deal with that kind of thing? So I just went to the doctor and just got an antibiotics then. Public health nurses used to do bowel care, but I always had a lot of accidents. So my dad took over and he kind of didn't have that accident ever since really. If you don't smell nice and you have an accident and something happens, people are looking at you and again they think you're unhygienic or whatever, but um, yeah, the, the people, it, it's the unseen things. You know, bowel and bladder is a big thing. Um, I have no issues with skin, you know, with pressure sores or anything like that, luckily. luckily but. I mean, I think you talk to most people in wheelchairs and they'll say to you that it's not really the fact they can't walk in, it's, it's the hidden things and the, that's, you know, they're almost as difficult. Um, I mean, if you'd said to someone, how much would you pay to have a, a functioning bowel and bladder, they'd probably pay, you know, hundreds of thousands of euro, you know, if that was, if, if that could be done.